so till now we have seen uh, what is arithmetic progression how to find the nth term of an arithmetic progression so and and we have also seen some of the example of finding the nth term of an arithmetic progression so let's take one more example of the nth term of an ap so let's say if m term of an ap b 1 by n and nth term of n ap b 1 by m then show that show that the mnth term of the same ap is 1 So it means it is given that nth term of the a of some AP is one by n and nth term is one by n. So we have to show the mnth term of the same AP is one by is one. So how to solve it? As we have seen the formula for finding the nth term of an AP. So uh, what what was what was the formula? It is a n is equal to a plus n minus one into d. So as it is given the mnth term of an AP. So in place of n We'll take it as m. So m n m term will become a plus m minus one into d, which is equal to one by n. So this is the first equation, and in the same way, it is given that n term of an AP is one by m. So a n term is a plus n minus one into d is equal to one by m, which is the second equation. so now we have to solve this two equation and now and we have to find out the value of a and d because we have to prove that the mnth term of an ap is equal to 1 so if we take the mnth term of an ap it is equal to a mn is equal to a plus mn minus 1 into d so as we see that we have we have to find out the value of a and d and we have to keep the value of a and d in this in this equation so we can find out the value of mnth term so there are there were two equation that we have already seen uh, first equation is a plus uh, a plus m minus 1d is equal to 1 by n and a plus n minus 1d is equal to 1 by n uh, so now we will subtract this two equation so subtract second from 1 so we are subtracting the second equation from the one or you can also subtract the first equation from the second anyway uh, in a, any in any case you can uh, get the same result so we are subtracting the second equation from the first so what we will get is the first equation was a plus m minus 1 and um, m minus 1 d is equal to 1 by n uh, so uh, it uh, so that will become 1 by n minus 1 by m is equal to a plus m minus 1 into d minus of a plus n minus 1 into d so when we subtract the second equation from the first we will get this so now we have to solve this uh, thing and we have to find the value of a and d so when we solve it what we will get is m minus n upon mn is equal to a plus m into d minus d minus a minus n into d and plus d so as we see in this equation that there are two terms uh, which are same but of the opposite side so there there is a which is of opposite side one is of positive and one is of negative side in the in the same equation there is d which is of opposite side one is positive one is negative so we'll cancel those uh, those, those terms and what the remaining term will get is m minus n upon mn is equal to d into m minus n so as we see that m minus n is the common part on the, uh, common part in this equation so we can cancel this m n minus n part and after cancelling it the value of d what we'll get is d is equal to 1 by m n so this is the common value of common difference that we have got which is equal to 1 by m n so in the same way the value of d as we have got so we have to keep the value of d in any of these equation uh, let's say we can keep the value of d in the first equation so when we keep the value of d in the first equation We, uh, we have to, we have to find out the value of a from that 
so the value of uh, d in the so what what was the first equation first equation was a plus m minus 1 d is equal to 1 minus 1 by n so as we keep the value of d in this equation what we'll get is a plus m minus 1 d is 1 by mn which which is equal to 1 by n so uh, after further solving it we'll get is a is equal to we will take this m minus 1 uh, into 1 by mn part on the other side of the equation because we have to find out the value of a so a is will become a is equal to 1 by n minus m minus 1 upon mn so as we remove the bracket part what we will get is a 1 by n minus 1 by n plus 1 by mn so 1 minus s n is common and uh, both are of opposite sign so we will cancel those part so we will get the value of a which is equal to 1 by mn and which is also equal to the value equal to the value of the common difference that is equal to 1 by mn so now we will keep the value of a and d in the in, in the mn term of an of the same ap so, so mn term of the same ap was a plus mn minus 1 into d as we see in the value of a is 1 by mn so we will keep the value of a in this equation so 1 by mn plus mn minus 1 into d so value of d was also 1 by mn so we have kept the value of a and d in this equation now we have to solve this equation so it is 1 by mn plus as we remove the bracket part what we will get is mn by mn minus 1 by mn so as we are seeing that 1 by mn is the common part but of the opposite side so we can cancel this part so what we will get is a of mn is equal to mn upon mn so we can cancel m from m and n from l as they as uh, so after cancelling it what we will get is equal to 1 so the value of a mn will got is 1 which actually we have to prove so in this way we have seen that uh, uh, while using the formula of finding the nth term of an ap we have calculated the value of uh, mn term of an ap which is equal to 1 now we move on to the other part of this which is actually the to find out the to find out the m term of an ap from the end so in the previous part we have seen that finding out the nth term of an ap that is from the beginning now we have to find out the nth term of an ap from the end so how to find uh, how to find out the mn term mn term of an ap from the end let's say let's see one example so let's say find 20th term from the end of an ap let's say the ap is uh, 3 7 11 up to 4 0 7 so we have to find out the 20th term of this ap from the end so there are different ways of solving it the easiest way to solve it uh, to solve this type of problem is uh, reverse the series so when we reverse the series we will get the uh, series as 407 up to 1173 so th this is a series we will get after reversing it so as we are seeing the previously uh, there was a common difference of plus 4 in this series but as we have reversed the series the common difference will now become minus 4 so the value of d is will what we will get is minus 4 and the value of a now is 407 now we have to uh, we have to find out the 20th uh, term from the beginning actually so 20th term from the beginning will become a plus 20 minus 1 into d so as we keep the value of a and d what we will get is 407 plus 20 minus 1 that is 19 into d the value of d is now minus 4 so when we will uh, solve this equation so what we will get after solving is a, a 20th that is 20th term which is equal to 407 minus uh, 19 into 4 that is equal to 76 so 407 minus 76 we will get the 20th term of an ap uh, which is equal to 331 so this is actually the 20th term of an ap from the end 
uh, which we have got uh, from the same formula that is to find, to find out the nth term of an AP from the beginning. This is the one way to solve this, this type of problem. And the other way to uh, other way to solve this type of problem is we actually have to find out the n minus m plus one term from the beginning. If we have to find out the twentieth term from the end. So as we see, the value of m is twenty, which is given, but we don't know the value of n. So first we have to find out the value of uh, n to find out. The, so then we can find out the value of n minus m plus one term from the beginning. So value of n, how to find out the value of n is, as we have seen the AP is 3, 7, 11 up to 4, 0, 7. So in this the we have to find out the nth term. So that is equal to A plus n minus 1 into D. As, uh, so A raised to by n is equal to 4, 0, 7, which is actually the last term of an AP. Value of A is 3 and the value of D is plus 4. So now we'll keep this uh, all the values in the in the a n plus is equal to a plus n minus one d equation. So what we'll get is four zero seven is equal to three plus n minus one into d, which is equal to four. So uh, a a n that is four zero seven minus first term is three. So we'll take the three on the other side of the equation. What we'll get is four zero seven minus three is equal to n minus 1 into d. So d was equal to 4. So 407 minus 3 we will get is 404. That is equal to n minus 1 into 4. So now we divide uh, uh, LHS and RHS with 4. So after dividing LHS and RHS with 4 what we will get is 101 is equal to n minus 1 and value of n that we will get is 101 plus 1 which is equal to 102. So we have find out the value of n and we know the value of m. Now we have to find out find out the n minus m plus one term of an AP. So n minus n m plus one is equal to 102 minus 20 plus 1. That is equal to 103 minus 20. That is equal to 83. So, so actually we have to find out the 83rd term from the beginning. So how to find out the 83rd term is a83 is equal to a plus n minus 1 that is 83 minus 1 into d. So value of a is 3 plus 83 minus 1 that is 82 into d. d is the same as that is equal to 4. So 3 plus 82 into 4 which is equal to 328. So we will get the same answer as 331 as the 83rd term of an AP. So you, you have seen that in both the cases we are getting the same answer. So and in any of, any of the case you will get the same answer. So you can uh, choose any, any of the case which, will, which one will be the easier for you to understand.